I'm going to pass that to this guy down Oh, you can hear me already. So, hi guys, uh, I'm Ben and this is Pantry. Um, we're going to bring intelligence to the table. So, we looked at a few problems. First, the problem with, that we found from our market research showed that 70% of people would want a way to make online shopping easier. As many as half of Brits nowadays use grocery shopping online. Grocery shops account for 5 to 10% of e-commerce sales in the UK, and this is the fastest growing sector within e-commerce. Our second problem lies with brands. They want a way to be able to connect to their consumer in a better way. Pantry uses a combination of machine learning and cognitive reasoning to simplify choosing the right products for your shopping list based on you. I've got a short video coming up now, which is uh, from an avid pantry user called Stephanie. She's a vegan with two children. Alexa, ask pantry to add beans to my shopping list. I have added hindsight parts 50% less sugar four times 200 grams to pantry. Fantastic video, hopefully you agree. You agree. Um, so why did we want to create Pantry? So there's a few re real reasons why we looked at this. First of all, we wanted to help people to choose the right products so they can make choices based on their lifestyle or dietary needs. We also, we've created Pantry so that you can create a shopping list based on your needs. This includes recommending healthier alternatives to some of the regular products that you might buy. We also want to add value to brands by giving them direct access to consumers. Having a great business is great, but we want to make money is the purpose and the reason why we're all here. Um, the first reason that we know we're going to be able to make money is that brands will pay to have features, uh, featured products at the top of our lists. We also want to sell user data and purchasing patterns onto these brands and to retailers. We know that five pounds per basket using our pass-through purchase model will come from affiliates and from retailers. All of this revenue model means that we're going to um, be able to provide this product to a user for free. So we don't want to send a product out into a saturated market. So we've done some research, we've looked at what's out there already. We know there are some similar things. There are some simple shopping lists that are just like using a notepad and pen. Um, there are systems that allow you to find products, but they are based, based on simple text searches. There's also shopping recipe sites, but that's not going to help you buy loo rolls. Pantry can combine all of these things and do a lot more. We're basing this on a proactive and not a reactive basis. <coughs> So who's going to use the product? We've done some extensive market research with which we found out that 70% of 24 to 35 year olds said they would use a platform to help them find their products. These are people that are time poor, they're health conscious, they don't want to keep doing top up shops, they don't want to keep doing short shopping bursts. So this means that our target demographic is based on young families with spenders in the age range of 25 to 40 years old. We've got a few ways in which people are going to be able to find Pantry. We've made a fantastic relationship with the, the Apprentice star and Whisk CEO, Nick Holzer. He's already agreed that he would partner with us and we'd be able to use their consumer base to try and get people to use the platform. We want to work with retailers for sponsorship in store and online. We also have a, want to work with a, a targeted advertising campaign um, using a Google Paper app, Google, Google AdWords and using uh, Facebook promoted posts. We also want to liaise with local authorities to work with their public health agenda. We've got a few visions which we can foresee coming up in the future for Pantry, one of which is the push notifications. So when you go near a shop, you'll be notified that the product that's on your shopping list can be purchased right now when you're there. We want to learn more about our users so we can tailor the solution even further. We're going to also expose our API to other companies so they can add more functionality to Pantry. It might include things like fridge sensors, for example. Our strengths are based on our fantastic team, business and industry links that we've got, specialists from Rainbird and 
from Van Bank. And we're gonna, we are aiming to get a day one revenue. On the first day of the lease of the product, we need one user to start making revenue, which is very unheard of. All we need is a partner to develop marketing campaign and develop brand communications. But let's start bringing intelligence to the table. Any questions? Hi, uh, thank you. How do you get the right balance between a brand who've got a lot of money to advertise, but it's not necessarily a healthy product, and if you're looking for something healthy? So um, the system that we've got will basically pref it'll put a preference on the, the specific user's requirements. So let's say, for example, they are on a low salt diet. That they will go through all those filters and the products that will come up at the end will then be the ones that can be paid for to be promoted. So the preference will always be on um, ethically on the user's need first and then it will be the promotion last. Excellent. Thank you. Patrick.